Today's video is sponsored by New Super Lucky's Tale. Join Lucky on his brand new adventure to restore the Book of Ages and defeat the evil wizard Jinx. Jump, burrow, and tail swipe your way through the 3D adventure you've been waiting for. New Super Lucky's Tale is available now on the Nintendo Switch. Visit the link in the video description or pick it up for yourself. Let's go! Step into the ring, Mario! This is pretty bittersweet. This has been six months in the making. Who would I be if the final raid boss of Season 1 wasn't none other than Mr. Video Games himself? The icon, the legend! Still pretty crazy how Mario's just kinda named after somebody's landlord. And to pay homage to the earliest Mario, we had to name him Jumpman. And there's the up smash. Ganon answering back with a stock. 2-2. Two, two. The reeds. This Ganondorf is just spamming smash attacks. Just so desperate right now. Oh wait, his name is actually Toxic Ganon. Alright, makes sense. Username checks out. Alright, he's camping under those platforms. Oh, up smash. Can he bring it back? He's really close. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness! Takes him off the stage. This might be it! This might be- Oh no. How disrespectful! Two boys in red enter. One boy in red leaves. Look at these up air juggles. He's like an Italian guile. Alright, Terry's got the go meter. He's got all of his attacks. And there's the power geyser. See the advantage here is Mario's been to space. I'm pretty sure Terry hasn't been to space. Look at these, oh my god! Mario's easily proving that he's not too old. He's still got it. And another one falls. Introducing the final raid boss of the season, Mario. An aggressive type, but can you really blame him after dealing with Bowser for so long? With a little over 2100 attack and 2000 defense, for support spirits, we gave him fist attack up and critical immunity. That's right, when he gets hurt, he gets invincibility. This is Super Mario we're talking about here. Not regular ass Mario, Super Mario. Ah yes, a classic Solid Snake quote. I feel like Snake and Mario are roughly the same age, but have made very, very different life choices. Mario's got the complexion of a baby. Seriously, look at that skin. What kind of skincare products do you think Mario uses on a daily basis? You know that dude is exfoliating and moisturizing every single day. Welcome to my new skincare YouTube channel. Please subscribe. All right, here. Wait, 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 wait. Did Mario just save Snake with a footstool? We need to get an instant replay on that one. Mario basically said, you can die when I allow you to die. Oh my god! That's a spicy Mita Ball. I just want to acknowledge the fact that out of all the amiibo we've trained, Mario by far has taken the combos that I've used and actually applied them in battle. Oh, he's got the invincibility star. Come on, Mario. Give everyone what they came here for. Give everyone what they came to see. Cloud's going hard right now, swinging that buster sword like a man who lost the love of his life. Oh wait. Got the limit break, he catches Mario in the cross slash. And Mario gets him with the cross punch. All right, that triggered the invincibility. Stay away. All right, Cloud taking a stock. And Mario immediately taking it back. Oh, misses the cross slash, Mario's juggling now. He's a renaissance man, he could do anything. He could juggle, he can wash islands. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Yeah, that's a thing that happens. Edgy Pit's taking a beating right now. This is payback for regular Pit jumping on Mario's head during the subspace emissary. That's a reference to another video I did that you should totally go watch. Please know that I'm not above a shameless plug. This first stock is hanging on by a thread. 
Not a very strong thread. Woo! Yeah, get those purple coins. Get those regional coins. Speaking of which, I honestly think E3 2020, they're gonna reveal Super Mario Odyssey 2. Just think about it. The last time that happened was the Wii, when we got Galaxy really early on. And then we ended up getting a Galaxy 2 with the same engine, which I think is gonna be the case for Odyssey. What kingdoms would you guys like to see in Odyssey? Personally, I think we're gonna see something like a Luigi's Mansion, Kingdom, Pit's Dead. Hopefully we'll get that highly rumored Isle Delfino Kingdom. Or I guess you call it the Sunshine Kingdom. I don't know, call it whatever the hell you want. Oh, avoiding that three stock. Barely. Mario's out here handing out so many L's, he might as well change the M on his hat to an L. And he can call himself, uh, um, I, Linguini or something? What kind of VIP passes do these people very close to the ring have, and how much did they cost? Ooh, Kirby with the parry. You can see the glow in his eyes. Oh, you just unlocked his invincibility. Kirby's about to get pummeled. Kirby with the answer back. It was like a whisper, but it was still an answer. This is perfect. Little Mac can't fall off anything. He actually has the advantage. It really says something when a character's biggest weakness is the actual stage. Right into his arms. Right into his pasta-eating arms. Little Mac charging the punch. Dex Mario right in the face. Damn, with the F-tilt. I like how Joker's pulling the gun on Mario. How could you even? You gotta respect this man. He's been in hundreds of games. He's a household name. You're just a weeb with a gun. He don't care about Arsene. He'll knock the Arsene out of you. All right, is he gonna get three stock now? Oh, and he takes the stock. You gotta watch out when you get knocked off the stage because this Mario is every Mario player. And what I mean by that is he's going straight for that bear. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Forward aerial. Come on, we're all here to see the dunks. That's why we clicked on this video, right? Mario's got the power star. But then it's gone. It's a very brief period of time, but it's still very intimidating. Ness hanging on for dear life. Will he get added to the list of three stock victims? Oh! Not today. I, uh... I don't know how I feel about this matchup. If it was Bowser, maybe. Is Mario really gonna beat up his girlfriend? To think that this is how Mario's going to treat Peach after she invited him to her castle, baked him a cake. Nice of the princess to invite us over for a picnic, eh, Luigi? But then again, he's just probably frustrated with her getting kidnapped all the time. Just hire some security guards. Talk to Zelda, she's got phantoms and shit. Look, even Toad's helping out. Everyone's pitching in. Although, Peach did stand up Mario on the moon. I can't think of anything more romantic than getting married on the moon. And they say romance is dead. This is it, boys and girls. This is the matchup we've been waiting for. We all know how it ends, though. Mario always beats Bowser. Unless, this is Mario is a Mario who's fed up with Bowser. A Mario who's eaten 40 bowls of pasta in 30 days. I absolutely do not feel bad for Bowser. He totally deserves this. Are we, we're saying it, right? Are we saying it? We're gonna say it. So Broke the shield, let's see, will he punish it with the F smash? Right, this Joker's days are over. It's like two grandpas fighting. Uh, Mario, what are you doing? Oh, I got it, I got it, it's part of the strategy. He died because he wants you to let your guard down. Genius. We need a weird fanfic about the Lloyd in the background falling in love with Pac-Man's fire hydrant. No? Just me? 
Now we're coming down to the wire here, with not much time left between the first Raid Boss Invitational and all 16 fighters revealed. Who do you think is going to be the first champion? Woo! You'll love to see it. With the Thwomp. Out of all the things Kirby could have turned into with his down B, he turned into the Thwomp. Mario's out here burning through video game icons one by one. Where are you going? Look, this Mario's thirstier than a man who ate a box of Popeye's biscuits. What happened? What, what was that? This is him. The hero of the Mushroom Kingdom. Little Mac's got a KO punch, but every punch for Mario is a KO punch. Oh, whiffed. Yeah, you're not coming back from that. You did it to yourself. Let's see, a little chance of redemption here. Just a, a sliver of redemption. Oh no, you just made him mad. You just gave him the invincibility star. Max said if I'm going down, I'm gonna land one more punch. This is the battle for the forward air. The winner gets to keep it. What was the thought process giving Banjo basically the same exact attack as Mario? Is that a thing in Banjo-Kazooie? Because I didn't play the games. Once Mario hits 100%, you just basically want to run for your life. All right, it's looking like Banjo's gonna have to change his forward air and pick something else. Maybe Luigi's? Ooh, gimped. Mario off stage. Almost getting gimped by an egg. An egg. Very fitting that he finished it with the forward air. Very meta. This is it. This is where Yoshi can get payback for years of abuse. For all the times that Mario ditched him to make pit jumps in Super Mario World. Why did you think that was gonna work? I like how through this video, Mario just beat his way through the Mushroom Kingdom. Unfortunately, we did not come across any Luigi's. There's only one real way for this thing to end, and that's if Mario footstools Yoshi. If he does, mark my words, I will delete my YouTube channel right now. Oh, I thought it was gonna happen. Oh my God. Don't do that to me. I spoke way too soon. The final battle, brother versus brother. It's a laggy one, because this dude's got a potato connection. I feel like Luigi really needs this one. To hook a brother up, literally. Luigi's been living in the shadow for way too long. He's the only one you can rely on. The only one who's stuck by your side. And I guess he's gonna stay in the shadow.